So the doctor who did all this research essentially said the brain that has Alzheimer's is like a roof that has 36 holes in the sense that like if you just like patch up the holes, you can reverse the effects of early diagnosed Alzheimer's. So essentially like what I want to do is to make like a advertising campaign that just funnels people to his research. For a long time, Alzheimer's had been just about me. It was what my art had been about, almost like therapy. My mom was diagnosed when I was in high school. When I went off to college, I think I was just really distracted, trying to understand and just reconcile my home life. And so a lot of it was realizing what I didn't want to do with the thought of my mom not being cognizant. I was having a really hard time finding school to be purposeful. And so when I started graphic design, I just wanted to land somewhere. I needed to declare something. At first, it was really, really hard. It's a lot of in-depth critical thinking. I was spending hours on things that didn't really pan out. I saw good design, I just didn't understand how they got there. And so I was really struggling with that. I had felt like there was really nowhere else to go at that point. I think for me personally, it was really helpful to be at a smaller school, a place that loves people, especially my professors who took the time just to listen, caring about just me, my questions and my doubts and my confusion. And that's when it really clicked. People want to be listened to. My professor had been weaving in human-centered design practice in the classroom setting, a type of method that starts with the people you're designing for and ends with them, letting them be the driving force of how you create art for me suddenly had purpose. It stopped being just about my own story. The first step of human-centered design is inspiration, which is a lot of research. I like to conduct interviews and then shape my ideas around what I was hearing from people. In the course of my time in graphic design, I've learned about a lot of different things. The story is always changing, and I like that. I like the challenge, being able to bridge people to an idea, a story, to a call to action. For me, graphic design is a way for I can lay down my preferences and offer my services to help elevate someone else's idea or goal. I'm now graduating with a love of design, but also a network of people that pushed me there. Um, on a more personal level. Point Loma helped me take something that has been painful and use the tools of design to help someone else who was struggling.